The views and opinions expressed by the host and callers of this program are not necessarily the views of Genesis Communications, its management, or its sponsors. Genesis Communications presents the show that's helping people see better and feel better all over Florida. It's Ask the Doctor with board-certified optometric physician, certified nutritional specialist, and popular radio host, Dr. Michael Lang of Lang Eye Care and Associates. Okay, good morning and welcome to Ask the Doctor. I'm your host as usual, Dr. Michael Lang of the Lang Eye Institute and Fortify Vitamins. Here each and every Saturday morning live to answer any and all questions you may have regarding your vision, eye care, or any nutritionally related topics. So pick up the phones and give me a call. Don't be shy. Phone number is 866-977-4820. That's 866-977-4820. Uh, if you're live, if you're new to the show, who's Dr. Lang? Well, I'm a board certified optometric physician. I'm also a uh, certified nutritional specialist. I founded Lang Eye Care and Associates back in March 15th of 1993. Uh, we grew to 13 locations throughout the state of Florida, and then uh, opened the Lang Eye Institute. And then uh, last year, or a year and a half ago or so, I sold every location. It was a good day, I got to tell you, for me but kept the Lang Eye Institute. So all of you that have seen me at any of the Lang Eye Care locations from Tampa, Clearwater Beach down to, uh, or up to Gainesville, now I'm in the Lang Eye Institute in the villages. That's the center of the state, uh, the Lang Eye Institute. You can learn more at drmichaellang.com or langeyecare.com. Also, we talk a lot about nutrition. We talk a lot about supplements that I've developed on this program uh, the fortify line of vitamins you can learn more about fortify at f-o-r-t-i-f-e-y-e -E, kind of a play on words fortify.com um, and once again if you go to the, my regular website drmichaellang.com it'll link to my other companies uh, the section ask the doctor on there comes directly to my email so uh, you can ask me an, a question anytime during the day and i try to answer those you know daily usually late in the evening or early, early in the morning. All right, we're going to go to the first phone call of the day. Actually, before we go to the first phone call of the day, let me, enter, let me just tell everybody, at the Safety Harbor Spa and Resort next Saturday, uh, they're having their fifth annual Health and Wealth Expo. We will be there. I will be there. I'll do the radio show from 9 to 10. I'll be there about 10.30 or so. But it's 10 to 2. Safety Harbor is a really cool, unique little town. Go to Safety Harbor Spa and Resort. It's from uh, 10 to 2, uh, 5th Annual Health and Wealth Expo. And Fortify Vitamins will be there. I'll be there as well as my staff. Um, and this is right now May uh, 5th. So a week from May 5th, I think that must be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I don't know, I think it's May 10th. All right, let's go back to the phones. Uh, I think Bob's number one. Bob, good morning. Welcome to the program. Good morning, Dr. Lang. Thank you so much for taking my call. Um, I was privileged to see a little news clip of a flash of orange going down a strip earlier this week. Uh, how did you do? Uh, that was me and the four to five Viper. Uh, you probably had the one t it tipping about 165 uh, down that front straightaway at uh, Sebring. I actually did very well on those uh, four sessions. Um, I was only passed by one prototype. So, uh, you know, out of 50 uh, people in the class, uh, I did fantastic. Now, I got to tell you, the last race of the day, it's interesting. My times were good enough to, uh, you know, be in second place, basically. But my times were down by about a second and a half or so. And then uh, I figured it all out. I wasn't breaking as good as I was supposed to. And the last race, even though I still finished very well, I overshot uh, the turn that goes into something called the, uh, I want to say the horseshoe. It's not called the horseshoe. Uh, it's right by the hotel there. Anyway, you come about 150 down to 30 miles per hour, and I couldn't stop. Luckily, there's about 100 yards of uh, overrun right after it. I always called the hairpin. 
And so I overshot it. Luckily, there wasn't a wall there because I would have been in big trouble. And so I pulled back into the pits. And sure enough, these uh, carbon ceramic brakes that I have that are crazy expensive. I mean, they're over $3,000 per wheel. Oh, we're gone. I mean, shot paper thin and it destroyed my rotor. So luckily, I didn't have any more races after that. And now I'm going to be getting some new brakes and I'll be ready for action. Just put a new carbon fiber race seat in the car. I'm going to save 50 pounds there. So uh, next race, I, I uh, will be living high on the hog. Thanks for asking. All right. Uh, well, I'm glad you came through it safely. I mean, my constant exhortation to you, Dr. Lang, is Keep it off the wall. Yeah, I'm, uh, we're both very happy about that. <laughs> yes, yes, we are. Uh, I have, um, I have, I have a whole list of questions, but I'm going to limit it to one. I heard a infomercial this morning uh, earlier, and it it just popped a question into my mind, and it was regarding uh, a higher uh, thing of krill oil, mm-hmm. a higher percentage of krill oil in a supplement. Right. And if it's an oil and it's from the seed, just like uh, the Fortify Omega-3, do they distill it with ethyl ester? And if they do, do they leave it on like they do their Omega-3? Yeah, that's a great question. So as far as I am aware, all right, and I haven't really updated myself in the krill industry in the last year, but as of a year ago, there was no molecular distillation or critical CO2 extraction for krill. And that's one of the reasons they have to, that's one of the reasons they have to put it in such a small tab, a small gel cap. It's because the FDA, believe it or not, will allow a certain amount of contaminants to come through the oil into a product that you have. And if they give you a larger pill, then they would have to retrofit their factories. It would be very expensive uh, to do some form of, uh, you know, extraction of the impurities uh, that are in krill oil. There are impurities in krill oil. And so that would be very expensive. Now, I've always said, because, you know, I don't like krill because all the uh, omega index studies that I've done, all the blood studies that I've done on patients utilizing krill, their omega index was, you know, one or two. It wasn't enough to do anything for vascular health or anything. And so krill I do like in one aspect it has phospholipids in it that makes it more bioavailable than most fish oil that is true and has a little tiny bit of astaxanthin which is a good antioxidant but all the krill you buy over the counter is very small capsules that have less than 100 milligrams of omega-3 in it now if there's a company out there that has a thousand milligrams of Omega-3, not a 1,000 milligrams of krill oil, but a 1,000 milligrams of omega-3. I would like to see it because that might be, a, a, you know, advantageous for people. Remember, krill is about, depending on what study you look at, about 20% more bioavailable than even the best triglyceride form fish oil. So that means if you're taking a 1,000 milligrams, you can take only 800 milligrams of krill oil. So it's not that much more bioavailable. And the, the price is very expensive for these little things. So Price cost uh, evaluation does not allow me to recommend it to anybody right now. All right. So there, there is no ethyl ester in krill oil because the volume is so low. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So we don't have to worry about the ethanol in it because there isn't any um, unless they're doing a new one. And, you know, I'll have to look and see what these higher dosages are and how much higher. You know, is it just going from 50 milligrams to 100 milligrams or is it going from 50 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams is the question. If it was 1,000 milligrams, they're going to have to do some form of purification. Well, I, it was not 1,000. I thought they were saying 300. Yeah, 300 is still not much omega-3, right? Right. Um, okay, well, are you going to be driving next week, or I just heard you say you are going to be in town so you could go to the expo? Yep, I'll be live. I won't be driving probably for another two to three more weeks, uh, so I'll be live. I'll have some, uh, you know, three live shows in a row. All right, well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to forewarn you, not that you need to be forewarned. I have I have a meeting tomorrow or next week at nine o'clock. So if I can sneak in a phone call early and be five minutes late, I will. But other than that, have a good week. All right, Bob, you take care. Bye bye. Bob's been a caller for, I don't know, twenty years. <laughs> 
He's always usually the first one in the morning. All right, you're listening to Ask the Doctor. I'm Dr. Michael Lang. All right, before we go to the next call, which I think is Steve, I just want to mention a lot of you have been taking advantage of a special that I've been promoting for the last month. And if you go to our website, fortify.com, or go to paleosimplified.com, either website, Paleo Simplified or Fortify, uh, you can order the Paleo Simplified Super Protein. That's the naked super protein. Remember, it's the exact same as the one I'm holding up in front of you right now if you're watching me on video. Uh, it's exact same as Fortify Super Protein, which is huge right now, but it's called Paleo Simplified Naked Super Protein. It's the exact same thing I just packaged it with a different label and I made too many of it. I told all of you this. I got pallets of this stuff, so I'm pushing it so it doesn't expire. You get 40% off if you use Paleo40 as the code. So go to fortify.com or paleosimplified.com. Put the order in for Paleo Simplified Naked Protein and use Paleo40 as the promo code at checkout. You'll get 40% off. It is the cheapest uh, grass-fed New Zealand whey protein concentrate in the United States right now. I guarantee it with the 40% off code. I mean, it's pretty cheap without the code. So you're getting it for basically almost our cost. So take advantage of that. All right, let's go back to the phones. Hi, thanks. Steve in Clearwater, good morning. You shouldn't use the word cheap. That sounds like low quality. You should say inexpensive. Inexpensive. I like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. See? Um, last week, Dr. Heck was talking about anthraxanthin and how good an uh, antioxidant was. Mm -hmm. And I got to thinking, have you ever heard of extremophiles? No, I haven't. These bacteria that can live places nothing else can. Like they can live in volcano vents with heat. Wow. They can live in strong acids and they can live in... They're called extremophiles. All oh. you got to do is look that up on uh, the internet. I'm going to write that down. And I look, yes, and I looked up what is the weirdest, hardest bacteria that can withstand something we never think. And there's a bacteria called radiodurans. It's a radioactive, it can partake, it lives around nuclear reactors. Huh. It can take a thousand times more radiation than most bacteria can. Hmm. It's called Dinococcus radiodurans. Radiodurans. Right. And in the Annals of Microbiology, listen to this title. The radioactive, protective, and antioxidant activities of anthaxanthin, of, of anthaxanthin from isolated radiodurans. Huh. Which means that anthaxanthin is what this, uh, one of the things that this bacteria has uses and there's also called watermelon snow, which a lot of people couldn't figure out why the snow was red, and it has to do with an anthraxanthin bacteria. Wow. And no. I was also thinking one more thing. You know how Mars is red? Right. It, it, they always blamed it on the iron oxide. Uh -huh. But the wavelengths couldn't quite make up. It would seem to me that in an extreme environment, if there is life on Mars that that little red wavelength that they couldn't quite figure out might be, you guessed it, anthraxanthin. Hmm. And Maybe they have radioduran bacteria. By Dr. Heck. I really do. I, I think it would be very interesting. But this radiodurans, I mean, this anthraxanthin shows up in, in extremophiles like uh, radio um, files that can take radiation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, all these different ones, there's about seven classes. And it seems to be the one antioxidant that really is used a lot by these extremophiles. Wow. So it's an interesting. Yeah, it is. That was a great show that we had with Dr. Heck. I'm going to have to have her on again. She's always very uh, enlightening. And, um, you know, I take, well, my, yes. I take my Fortify Focus. It has the six milligrams of astaxanthin. I take it twice a day now. Um, and, you know, I, f I feel like a million bucks. Maybe. Well, one thing, one thing about you and her that's very much in common is a lot of times scientifically trained people, they, they don't speak well. You know, they speak real well at, at, at meetings and seminars, but they don't speak well on a public, in a public forum because they, they're just in a different world. <laughs> Whereas you, 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 you and her and everything are extremely intelligent people. And yet you can make a radio program interesting for all us dummies. So <laughs> I really, I really, 
<laughs> no, seriously. I really think that, that, that that's a talent, and there's not a lot of people that are good in both both areas. It's, well, you know, I, have, Mitchell, I, I is, appreciate that, Steve, and you're, you're far from a dummy. You're probably one of the most intelligent listeners out there. Well, I just, you know, like I said, I just, I, I, I'm, I only sound that way because you talk about things that I have a personal interest in. And like I said, I've been sick in my life, and personal morbidity leads to personal scholarship. Wow. Uh, there you ask go. me about Shakespeare, and I'll seem pretty stupid. <laughs> Steve. Okay, I got to go. All right. Thanks for the call. God bless. Uh, Steve always has some great things to share with on the show. Wow. Radio Durand. Interesting. Uh, extremophiles. I want to research that a little bit more. So there you go. Another reason to possibly be Tang, not just to promote it, but fortify focus. Remember, this is the only supplement in the industry that has lutein, zeaxanthin isomers, and astaxanthin, all three carotenoids that impregnate into the front and the back of the eye. Fortify Focus. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on any of our websites, any Lang Eye Care location. Many doctors are carrying it. I got to mention a new doctor uh, in the Seminole, Florida area, Dr. William Fruchman. Uh, he's an eye doctor, Dr. William Fruchman. He's at 9009 Park Boulevard, Seminole, Florida. He carries the Fortify Focus and the Fortify Super Omega now. So if you're one of Dr. William Fruchman's uh, patients or if you're near his practice, you can go in, and that's in Seminole, Florida, uh, 9009 Park Boulevard, Dr. William Fruchman, uh, Fortify Super Omega and Fortify Focus. All right, let's go back to the phones. I think... Uh, the other Steve is on hold. Steve, good morning. Thanks for holding, brother. Good morning, sir. How are we doing? I'm hanging in there. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, it is. Beautiful day in paradise. Yep. Um, I had an appointment with my general MD to check some blood work that uh, I had had done here last week. And I'm notorious for having perfect blood work, you know. And first thing he asked me is, he says, how much water do you drink? Uh, mm -hmm. I said, well, what, what are you talking about? He says, your kidney function is down. And he says, I think you're probably dehydrated. And uh, my basic regimen every day is drink coffee all day and then two beers a night and have supper, you know. And oh. I never drink water. I never drink water. So my question is, um, have you ever heard of this happening? And can you be dehydrated if you're not thirsty, because I never really get thirsty. Absolutely. I mean, I deal with this every day, all day long. I see patients that are, are dehydrated, their entire body is, and we notice it in the eye, corneal dehydration, extreme dry eyes, and then simply doing a, a case history, you know, asking them, you know, what do they drink? Same thing. Three cups of coffee in the morning, all right, and then a couple of cocktails, a couple of glasses of wine in the evening. Now, remember, one glass of coffee is fine or one cup of coffee is fine, but anything above that actually acts as a diuresis and it can cause dehydration. You need to actually drink three cups of water to offset the diuresis effects of the booze that you're drinking and the coffee you're drinking. So when you think about it, if you get three and three, three cups of coffee, three glasses of wine or beers or whatever, that's nine. You got to go nine times three. And if my math is correct, is what's nine times three, Steve? 27. <laughs> 27 cups of water so you're not dehydrated. Nobody's doing that. So, you know, yeah, I'm not surprised you aren't dehydrated and you're having kidney potential kidney problems and things of this nature. People will feel better. People that are dehydrated often get cognitive impairment. They get loss of equilibrium. They get anxiety attacks, panic attacks, you know, uh, chronic uh, being chronically tired all the time, very dry eyes, fluctuation in their vision, a whole host of symptoms, increased rate of heart palpitations, heart arrhythmias related to dehydration. And then you've heard me talk about, you know, uh, drinking water. I'm holding up a water. It says spring water in front of everybody right now. Drink bottled water. Make sure it says spring water. If you really want the best, Get it in glass bottles, okay? So they make Saratoga. They make that Ozark Mountain stuff. Um, they make a bunch of them in glass bottles now uh, that are spring water. That's the ultimate, but it is more expensive. But at least buy something like Fiji or Avion or maybe even Zephyr Hills or anything that says spring water, not reverse osmosis, not distilled, not purified. 
And my, my recommendation is drink less coffee and drink less alcohol and then drink more water. And believe it or not, drink a glass, a cup of coconut water, you know, a, a day too. It has some electrolytes in it that can help rehydrate you. And I, I guarantee that you're going to feel better. And, you know, even possibly your vision would be better um, if you're not dehydrated. So, yes, you can be asymptomatic and be dehydrated. Absolutely. Yeah, he said he told me to drink uh, two quarts of water a day. Well, Just that's water, not coffee or anything like that. Right, right. Um, and remember, if you're going to drink water, make sure it's not the reverse osmosis or the distilled water because that can open up a whole can other can of worms. And I'm not saying stop all your alcohol and stop all your coffee, but you could have one or two cups of coffee and, you know, one beer. Try to cut back before you don't go cold turkey at first. Is, is beer hydrating or dehydrating? No, it's dehydrating. Definitely. Now, you know, and think about it. If you go to, in the olden days, if, if you did hang out at the bars with the friends and you drank a lot of beer, wh where were you hanging out a lot at? The urinals, right? Yeah, right. Dehydrated. You wake up in the morning, you got a bad headache, okay? That's because your brain is dehydrated, all right? Your eyes are really dry. Your whole body is dehydrated. So alcohol is one of the worst things in the world for dehydration. So don't overdo it. Remember, everything in moderation is what I preach. So you've heard of this before as far as uh, dehydrated. I've, I've lived this way my whole life, though, you know, and then all of a sudden it came up. Is it because I'm getting old? Well, yeah, I deal with this every day with all my patients. You're, you're a typical patient. Three cups of coffee, three, three glasses of hot booze. It's typical. Um, you just got to drink more water during the day and just cut back. Cut back on what you're doing and drink a little bit more water. And then let me know how you're feeling. I've been having dry eye for a long time, and uh, I guess this might help that situation too, right? I bet you it will. And keep doing what you're doing with your vitamins and your omega threes, and you know, obviously, keep seeing your your eye doctor and uh, and keep me posted. I bet you'll uh, you might not realize you don't feel good, but once you start hydrating, you'll feel better, and you say, "Wow, this is how I'm supposed to feel." I think you're right, right around sixty, and you'll think, you know, I just thought I was getting old, and uh, you'll find out that wow, I feel a lot better. I feel like I'm thirty again. Awesome. I got an appointment with the low vision doctor coming up this week, so we'll see good. what he says. Good. Keep me posted, all right? Hang in there. All righty. Positive mind. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Bye, Steve. Yeah, Steve's been a call for a long time, too. He's been going through a lot, lost all his vision in one eye and uh, not doing so hot in the other eye, but uh, he's a trooper. He's got a positive mindset. He lost a lot of weight and got his diabetes under control. Uh, the diabetes was the culprit of the problem. Remember, diabetes is the leading cause of blindness in this country. And for those of you that are diabetics, uh, you really got to take the bull by the horns and uh, watch, watch your diet. Get down to your ideal fighting weight. If you're overweight, you got to lose that weight. And I got to tell patients this all the time. Not only diabetics, patients with cataracts, dry eye, glaucoma, macular degeneration, they come in and they're overweight. The first thing I talk to them about is weight management. Anybody can lose weight. I've had friends of mine that have gone from 500 pounds to 250 pounds in, in a year and a half. So it can be done. The problem is most people don't follow diets and will not stick with it. So Google the Lang Diet. Lang Diet, Google it. It's on the Fortify website. It's on drmichaellang.com. The average patient, if they follow the Lang Diet and lifestyle, if they follow it, now that requires you to get a little sunshine. That requires you to do a little exercise. And if you follow the diet, the average patient loses six pounds a week on it. Uh, now, the problem is, is a big if you follow it, all right? So you can also get a copy of that diet. If you call Fortify Vitamins, we'll send it to you or email it to you, or you can just go on the website at fortify.com and you'll see it on there. It's an easy to follow diet. It tells you about the supplements I developed. It talks about what to eat, when to eat it. I mean, I give you a meal, a different meal every day uh, for a month uh, that will help. It's it's high, high, low, high in protein and vegetables, less fruit, no pasta, no potatoes, anything like that. Some fermented foods in there to help your digestive system. Starts out the morning with a glass of water with some apple cider vinegar with the mother to get things kicking. All right, phone lines are open. If you got a question, give me a call. one 866 977 You're listening to Ask the Doctor. I'm your host, Dr. Michael Lang. One more time, one 866 977-4820. I am live in the studios. This is May 5th, 
2018. Man, where's our life going? I started hosting the show March 15th, no, April 15th, 1993, one month after I opened my first practice in Ocala, Florida. So I've been hosting the show nonstop. A lot of you remember I had a drive time show from Monday through Saturday, uh, 9 uh, in the morning, 9 to 10, here on Genesis Communications, 820 a.m. for many years, every day except Sunday. And then I uh, started working again. <laughs> And if you want to see me for an eye exam or any of my uh, fantastic group of doctors at the Lang Eye Institute, um, you can call, uh, let's see, 352-753-4014. That's 352-753-4014. That's the Lang Eye Institute in the villages. Remember, we take care of everything from major eye surgery to routine eye care to nutritional intervention for eye disease as well. Dr. Michael Tolatino, uh, world-renowned retina specialist, is our retina guru on Fridays at the Lang Eye Institute. So if you'd like to see uh, Dr. Tolatino, who was the guy that actually invented the injection for macular degeneration, for wet macular degeneration, he is in the Lang Eye Institute on Mondays. I think he's in Winter Haven on a day and over in the Clearwater area with Dr. Dana, Dana Dupree um, sometime during the week. So great retina specialist. All right, we're getting ready to go to the phone call here in just a minute. Remember, next week you can meet me and talk to me Saturday in Safety Harbor at the Safety Harbor Spa and Resort for their fifth annual Health and Wealth uh, Expo, 10 to 2, Safety Harbor Spa. I'll be there probably about 10.30, 10.45, but my staff will be there at the Fortify and Paleo Simplified booth um, starting at 10 o'clock in the morning. All right, uh, we're going to talk a minute about something called blepharitis and a new treatment for blepharitis. But one more time, I just can't emphasize enough this deal that a lot of you had taken advantage of, but not enough of you. I still got to push more. Still got a couple of pallets left of the Paleo Simplified uh, Super Protein, Naked Protein. Folks, this is only protein. There is no lecithin in it, no guar gum in it. There is no flavor. There's no stevia. There's nothing. It's just pure protein from year-round, grass-fed New Zealand cows, no, uh, no adulterated pollutants in it, no negative chemicals in it, um, there's no antibiotics, there's no hormones, it's a concentrate instead of an isolate, so it has the good fats, the immunoglobulins that actually promote overall wellness. One of the best ways to stimulate your immune system to help fat loss and stimulate muscle and strength is to drink a whey protein concentrate from grass-fed cows every single day. After you work out, you take A2 chocolate milk, watermelon, and a scoop of Fortify Super Protein or Paleo Super Protein and Paleo Simplified Super Protein, and you drink it within 30 minutes of working out, and it's almost anabolic. It works so well. But remember... Go to paleosimplify.com or fortify.com. Use Paleo40. Remember that, Paleo40. That means you're getting 40% off. It's like $40 to begin with, and you're getting 40% off on that, so it's a pretty good deal. All right, we're getting loaded up. Let's go to the phones. First, we're going to go to Steve. Steve in Tampa, good morning. Steve Farty. <laughs> <laughs> Three Steves this morning. <laughs> Quick question, doctor. Just curious about the, the, the I have two, some medical question too, but on the brakes, how do these NASCAR uh, guys do the brakes? Because they're on the brakes constantly. Yeah, um, not as much as road racing. Remember, my NASCAR is an oval, okay? And so oh, that's true. That's yeah. true. You're right. You're right. So yeah, when you're yeah. at Sebring, you know, we got, I don't know how many turns, 17 turns. So you're on the brakes a lot more in Barber Speedway in Birmingham, even a lot more. So we shred brakes. I mean, it's crazy how fast we go through brakes. Uh, I ate really bad yesterday, went to one of these outdoor food festivals and woke up, you know, and I guess you call it sleep or whatever in the eyes and right. so forth. Is that just the, the excrement from the body just 
just having to deal with toxins and so forth? Yeah, well, what happens is, uh, you know, you were out hanging out around a lot of people, and there's a lot of airborne things in the air, antigens, viruses, even bacteria on dust molecules. And God's defense mechanism, so it doesn't get in the eyes, are eyelids, okay? And so this stuff just lands on the eyelids, and then at night, because you probably didn't go into the bathroom right before you went to bed and scrub your eyelashes really good. You might have brushed your teeth, but you probably didn't scrub your eyelashes. And so then you go to bed at night, this stuff crawls into the glands. This is a warm, moist environment with oils that are the nutrients for this bacteria and these viruses and even little mites called Demodex to just let them grow very rapidly. And then you wake up in the morning and that is the excrement on there. It's like a, a byproduct. It's like a little sandy, crusty stuff. Some people, their eyes are actually matted shut in the morning. It's a lot worse. So the simplest thing to do is right before you go to bed, you know, you can buy baby shampoo and scrub your eyelashes really good with them and then rinse them with warm water. Or you can buy over-the-counter Soft Foam, which is a detergent for the lids. You can get it on our Fortify website as well. Then if you have animals in the house and they sleep in the bed with you and you notice your eyelids are always swollen and crusty, then there's a product you can only get on our website called Clearadex. Clearadex has a, a byproduct of... Uh, uh, a special ingredient that kills these mites called Demodex. And it's a byproduct of D tea tree oil, a derivative of it. And it kills these bad little critters. And about 90% of people that have animals in the house will have this on their eyelids. So Clearadex is one of the best ways to clear up any forms of what we call blepharitis. And that clogs the meibomian glands. And we have what we call meibomian gland dysfunction because of that. That creates a dry eye if it's a chronic problem problem and it's not treated. Okay, another thank you. One quick question. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I just said 5-0. You've been there for a little bit. Is there, I mean, there's just a, a massive amount of commercials for testosterone boosters and I'm, I'm a little bit apprehensive of it. I would be very leery of testosterone boosters. Um, I have not seen a lot of good clinical studies proving that it really works, okay? Um, so you might not want to spend a lot of money unless you can find a study. If you can find a really good, you know, study, I would love to see it. I mean, I'm more afraid doctor that they do work, you know, because I'm afraid of the real stuff as well. It just seems extremely unnatural. Well, it, it is, you know, and if you get it from a, a synthetic source, it will actually shut down your natural production oftentimes. And then that's what happens to bodybuilders at young age. They're taking Dianabol, Decodorobalin, Anivar, Winstrol, things like this, and it shuts down their natural, you know, testosterone production and it causes atrophy down there. And that's not a good thing. The best thing for us at 50, believe it or not, is just to get on something like a paleo or a good Mediterranean diet, organic as much as you can. So you get all the preservatives and all the garbage out, exercise, Get sunshine for 30 to 45 minutes every day. Make sure you hydrate The comment and sleep. All of this combination is very effective. Then taking some supplements that are, are true and they have studied and they work, things like a good omega-3, adding the astaxanthin like the Fortify Focus, this improves circulation. Uh, that helps for people that have low testosterone. I mean, I've seen patients where their testosterone levels have gone up significantly. Uh, their libido's gone gone up significantly when they just make these lifestyle, lifestyle changes. Remember the old days, what it was in the 80s, can you pinch an inch? Well, now Americans, mostly they can pinch, you know, a foot. And so we got to get <laughs> well, down to it. Yeah. <laughs> we Doctor, get... here's my theory, mm -hmm. and, and tell me if it, there's any validity into it. And it, it seemed to me, we had a lot of work done lately on, in the backyard, and so there was four or five guys working. Of course, nobody young will work, and these guys are swinging these hammers and everything, and they're all 50, 60 plus mm -hmm. years old, right? And I'm thinking, I, I wonder if, if it's true, like you said, if, if, in other words, if the body thinks that you need testosterone, in other words, if you keep moving like you did when you were younger, if it will give you the testosterone that you need, and the reason it goes down is because you stop needing it. Yeah, you probably have, uh, you probably hit the nail right on the head. Uh, because most of my patients and most of my friends that we deal with that are very active and in good shape, they don't need any testosterone, all right? They have no problems in that area at all. They've got lots of energy. I mean, I've got friends that are 75 years of age. I mean, heck, my dad's 9, 89, 90, and he still bikes, you know, uh, 10 miles a day. My mom's 90, still plays oh my God, tennis. Awesome. 
still plays <laughs> tennis, 90 years of age, my mom. You know, and they followed these lifestyle habits all of their life. And I've told people about cholesterol. My mom's cholesterol has been 350 for the last 40 years. My dad's a physician. Every time he tried to put her on, you know, a statin drug, she couldn't play tennis anymore. So, you know, 25 years ago, he said, that, no statin drugs for you. And she, you know, God bless her. She's never been in the hospital, never had any surgery. Uh, she's still smart, as, you know, is very intelligent and very active. And both of them, I mean, they're 90 years old, but they've led a lifestyle that was very active and eating, you know, fruits and vegetables. You know, we didn't grow up on a lot of these. Uh, we didn't have any frozen dinners and canned foods. It was all, you know, my mom shopped on the outside of the supermarket, you know, fresh fruits and vegetables. And, and now they're trying to buy organic as much as possible, but they live in Picky in Mississippi and they can't always get, um, you know, organically grown uh produce. Doctor, thank you very much for the info, and I am going to start a GoFundMe page for your breaks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, Steve. Take care. And 50 is the new 30, all right? After this show, I'm going to go out and uh, bike for about two hours, and then I'm uh, off the causeway back and forth twice, and then I'm going to head out and do some sculling uh, in Tampa Bay, and then I'm going to hit the gym tonight, and then after I bike, I'm going to have my Fortify Super Protein or the Paleo Super Protein, some A2 chocolate milk and some watermelon. And after I work out tonight, I'm going to do the same thing. So I try to practice what I preach. All of you, I urge you, get out. It's a beautiful day. Go do some grounding on the beach. You know, go for a walk on the beach. You have no excuses. If you're in a wheelchair, you can still do exercise. You can do isometrics while you're sitting in that wheelchair. And... So if there's a will, there's a way. All right, let's go back to the phones. I think Eric is next. Eric and Marston, good morning. Hi, Doc. Uh, all that talk of athletic prowess is uh, <laughs> scaring me a little bit. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm happy for you very much. So while I was on hold, the guy, one guy talked about the sleep in his eyes. Right. And uh, I remember from uh, past studies that excess amino acids that build up in the brain gets spewed out into the tears. No need to comment on that. I really wanted to tell you that Dr. Heck did a great job, and she's a wonderful adjunct for you, uh, in my opinion. So I'm casting a vote uh, for her as a return guest. Excellent. Um, when she spoke of uh, astaxanthin, she... Uh, mentioned that the it revs up the mitochondrial uh, activity and mito mito mitochondrial metabolism. Mm -hmm. So since all mitochondria is maternal, this led me to think that, wow, if you are an individual that has some sort of uh, issues with your genes, mm -hmm. like maybe your father had bad genes and your mother had good genes, right? Ramping up maternal genes is probably a good thing. And it, in that respect, this astaxanthin seemed to, uh, that it might be a provocative type of uh, uh, supplement. Wow. that's uh, I never thought of it like that. And I'm going to actually talk uh, with Dr. Heck about that. But absolutely, I think... Uh, you know, astaxanthin, we're, we're just finding out so much good stuff in regards to astaxanthin. You know, I think also, you know, remember mitochondria, cellular respiration, the production of ATP is very important. And when you think about it, you know, most of us probably are deficient, quite deficient in astaxanthin because how many of us, number one, eat algae, uh, hematococcus, none of us. And then how many of us eat wild Alaskan salmon frequently? All right. If we eat salmon, we go, you know, we go out to bonefish and we order the salmon thinking we're eating healthy and it's Atlantic salmon, which is actually farm raised. And it's probably better for you to eat the steak, believe it or not, than the fish in that case. So we're all deficient in that. So it's interesting, you know, if people started supplementing with a little astaxanthin, you know, how, how would it really benefit? I mean, I'm seeing it in our patients that, uh, you know, their 
uh, blood chemistries for inflammatory markers are going down. So C-reactive protein, tumor necrosis factor, arachidonic acid is going down. We also see patients with chronic inflammatory problems in the eye that I've had on low dose steroids for 20 years, very low dosage uh, topical steroids that when we combine it with omega-3 and our Fortify Focus, that I get them off the steroids. So it definitely is a potent anti-inflammatory and an antioxidant. When you think about it, uh, aging, aging is oxidation and inflammation along with some other things. So the whole aspect with maternal and DNA, and, and that's pretty interesting, but I think uh, you're going down the right path with that. It's just a, a different uh, way of looking at it, mm -hmm. I think, and uh, wow. Between Doc, you and Steve talking about the radio <laughs> Durans. <laughs> uh, oh, I've known about those extremophiles for quite a bit. Wow. But, you know, I'm sure he's reading journals and, uh, you know, I'm listening to them. They're all mostly podcasts nowadays. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of good ones out there. I'll, I'll send you an email. I know your address. Doc, oh. you are the greatest. Thank you so much for keeping up this good work. All right. Take care. Thanks for the call. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ah, we got a lot of great callers. A lot of very intelligent people listen to the show. I got to tell you. All right. Uh, phone lines are open. one 977 4820 Remember, check us out on Fortify.com. That's F-O-R-T-I-F-E-Y-E, Fortify.com. If you want to follow me on all the social media, just go to DrMichaelLang.com. That's D-R. Don't put a period after DrMichaelLang.com. And you can hook up with me on any form of social media. All right, let's go back to the phones. Ah, Rose in Ocala. Good morning, Rose. Good morning. I haven't talked to you in a long time. It has been a while. Um, uh, you know, Bob has just retired. Wow. Bob Barberi. It's yeah, a, he retired. How old is Bob now? Bob's got to be pushing 70. <laughs> well, uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you say, tell, when you see Bob, tell him I said hello and con congratulations on the retirement. I, say, well, I remember when he was teasing you when you first started your radio program. Remember about different things? Oh, yeah. About yeah, 1993. <laughs> yeah. We won't go into the subject matter of how he did it, but. It was funny. I remember sitting around the table and we we're all dying laughing. It was so funny. <laughs> but um, anyways, uh, we were talking about dehydration earlier. Could that cause my macro de uh, degeneration? Hmm. You know, I don't know if there's macular, macular degeneration. Right. I don't know if there's any associated studies that indicate uh, it's a cause and effect for macular degeneration. But, you know, dehydration can cause a whole lot of problems in, in your body, including, you know, uh, op not optimizing your circulation. And so um, and also you can become immune compromise, uh, all sorts of problems from dehydration. So I wouldn't be at all surprised, and that's a question I should really ask Dr. Tolatino uh, in regards to that, but if, you know, if you're dehydrated, it creates a whole host of problems, Rose. I mean, a whole host of problems, and I would not be uh, surprised to find out if it increases your risk of retinal problems. It definitely increases your risk of corneal problems, corneal scarring, dryness in your cornea, fluctuation in your vision. So um, I wouldn't be surprised, but that's something I can't really comment 100% on right now. Could a botched uh, cataract surgery cause it? Cause macular degeneration? Uh-huh. Eh, probably not, but I do got to tell you this. After cataract surgery, everybody's got to listen to this carefully. After cataract surgery, I see many patients uh, increase their risk of macular degeneration after cataract surgery. And we've seen patients where they had a cataract removed in one eye, and then 20 years from now, they still had the other cataract has not been removed, and they develop macular degeneration in that other eye. And one reason for this is the cataract is God's way of protecting your retina, okay? That cataract starts to turn yellow, has blue filtering properties. It's actually filtering not only the UV light, but the high-intensity visible spectrum of the blue light, which we know definitely damages the retina. So a cataract, in essence, is protective in nature for your retina. You have it removed, and then the doctors do not emphasize to you to wear sunglasses when you're out in the sun or blue filtering lenses when you're on the computer indoors, then yes, you can increase your risk of macular degeneration. That's why I also recommend 
everybody after cataract surgery taking Fortify Focus because it's got the three carotenoids that benefit the eye and actually impregnate into your macula, improving something called macular pigment density, which is actually the filtering system to filter the harmful UV and blue light so it doesn't damage your retina. So after cataract surgery, everybody should take Fortify Focus, one pill a day or something similar to it, and wear a good pair of sunglasses outdoors. And if you're on a computer a lot, uh, wear lenses like blue light defense lenses when you're on the computer. Uh, also, can we get that deal at any of the eye clinics for your uh, protein? Um, yes. Well, if you go to the Lang Eye Institute, you can. Or if in, in Ocala, if you go to Fortify Vitamins right there on 17th Street next to Wood U. Yes, absolutely. Uh -huh. You can get the, uh, just say Paleo 40 and you'll get the 40% off. So for you, it's it's simpler just to drive to 7th Street, 17th Street right next to Wood U to the Fortify Vitamin location. Okay, great. Well, you have a wonderful day. Good uh, talking to you. All right, Rose, take care. Oh. Wow, Rose brings back memories back in the day. Um, I tell you, uh, we used to hang out with uh, that whole Bob... Uh, Barbieri. Oh, Bob, I mentioned your name out there. Don't come after me. All right, let's go back to the phones. Let's see who we got. I think Janet. Janet, Indian Rocks Hi. Beach. Good morning. Hi. Good to talk with you, doctor. How um, are you? Just I have a couple of questions. You had just mentioned just a time back that no potatoes. <laughs> I like potatoes. What's wrong with them? I think everything in moderation. Potatoes are okay. Uh, but right. remember, potatoes are still a carbohydrate. So it just depends if you're trying to lose weight or not. If you're trying to lose weight, potatoes probably aren't the best thing in the world because that's a, that's a carbohydrate that you're going to burn before you start burning your fat. So if you want to lose weight, and potatoes are definitely not a good idea. But, you know, if you're not overweight, uh, you know, I think potatoes are okay in moderation. Okay, yeah, I'm very thin, so uh, that would not be a problem for me. But I was just wondering if there's something in them like oats, you know, that that would be detrimental to the nutrition. Yeah, I mean, there's some, I mean, I could I could tear potatoes apart, but it's not worth it. It's not, there's not enough bad in the potato. Um, sweet potatoes are okay in moderation as well. The only problem with sweet potatoes, they're super high in beta carotene. Do not eat sweet potatoes with spinach or kale. If you want the benefits from the spinach and kale, same thing with carrots. Don't juice carrots with greens because the beta carotene actually binds uh, to sites and does not allow the lutein to absorb into your body. So if you want to eat sweet potatoes or, or carrots, eat them separately, but don't eat them with greens. Okay, so sweet potatoes are, I thought they were always healthful. It's okay to eat. Yeah, you can eat sweet potatoes, but don't, not too many of them. And don't no. eat them with dark green leafy vegetables, okay? Okay, very good. Okay, one more question. I'm experiencing some very pretty severe depression. I have a history of it. It's just, it's emotional, it's psychological, it's different things. I've seen people this, that. I know myself pretty well, okay? Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, somebody else who I saw recommended for the anxiety is very high. Mm hmm and more at some times. It's just, you know, and I have a lot to do, and it's, you know, it's hard. You, you just feel like you're going crazy at times. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Okay, anyway, he said that theanine would be good for that. Do you what, agree? What did you say? Theanine or theanine? T-H-E-A-N-I-N-E, -E, theanine? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I, I'm not so sure about that. Um, but Are I you do, familiar with that? I, I'm not real familiar with that for depression, okay? But I do, okay, I am familiar, I am very familiar with some, some things that will help your depression. Now, first of all, Obviously, you got to see your doctor, psychologist, psychiatrist, primary care physician, whoever, to help with your depression, okay? And if they have you on know, medications, you got to take them. I mean, there's all sorts of medications for this, but there's some natural ways. I mean, I've helped lots of people over the years. So I got to tell you a few things. Number one, believe it or not, omega 3 fish oil. Many studies show that a good form of omega 3 fish oil can help depression, all right? Well, I'm uh, taking them. Good. I'm so, taking yours. Good. Keep taking them. Cardio, I only take your supplements. <laughs> cardiovascular exercise. All right. 
Okay. We can all do more. You got to hit that proverbial wall, so to speak. So if you're biking or walking fast or treadmill, elliptical trainer, and you know you feel like, oh, I've done enough. I can't do any more. Well, you keep doing it and you hit that wall and then you release beta endorphins. Beta endorphins are natural antidepressants. So I've got a lot of people that are depressed and I tell them, you know, get into road biking, mountain biking, things like that, and it helps significantly. Sleep is also very important. You got to get a good night's sleep. So sleep, cardiovascular exercise, omega-3. Obviously, your heart has to be healthy. I can't tell you to do cardiovascular exercise if you have congestive heart failure. So, you know, you can talk to your doctor about these things. Um, and you can Google. There's some other things you can Google and, and find out some other foods that can benefit you um, uh, for helping with this. But, you know, it's also, you know, you got to get that mind. Mindset is very powerful. You'd be amazed at what you can do uh, with your mind. I mean, you can make your blood pressure go up and go down. You can make you have self an anxiety attack, a panic attack, be depressed, not depressed. So, you know, I don't need to tell you this, but, you know, you got to think positive thoughts. You know, think about all the good things that are in your life. Don't think about the negative things in your life. And that's what too many people right. do. They harp on the negativity. And, I, I, you know, uh, my brother's one of them, you know. And so I always tell them, think positive. Everything's not negative in your life, you know. Okay, but is there anything that you know of herb or otherwise, you know, other than the multiple you know, vitamins, which I take muscular defense and your other things, that could help with the anxiety? I can't sometimes get it under control. That could just kind of ease it off or anything. Yeah, you know then, you know, it, it, you have an Internet access, right? I don't use it, but I can get someone to do it. Uh, because if you email me at idude92 at icloud.com, I'll say it slower, E-Y-E-D-U-D-E-92 at iCloud.com. Then I can give you, I can send you something that's, you know, I can't even go, it, it take a long time to go into it on the radio, but I can send you something that talks about that in detail. Okay, are these something, is this something I can take? A natural, yeah. It, it'd be some natural things that you could try, absolutely. Can't you just tell me quickly here? I'd like to go get it. <laughs> no, it's more, it's, it's a lot more intense. It's not just one little thing. So it, please try to email me or you could, yeah, you, you could even call me later today if you wanted to. On your cell phone? Yeah. Okay. I think I have it. Um, you want to give it to me? Yeah, I'll give I it, give to, it you. to you. In the best. Sure. 352-208-3108. And give okay. me about, uh, you know, if you wanted to call me, I'd say call me probably in two hours. Okay. I'll be for about noon, just noontime. Yeah, 12, 1230. That would be perfect. I appreciate this. So you right. uh, have right. some information. Thank yep. you, doctor. We'll talk then, and we can talk in more depth, okay? Thank you, sir. All right, bye-bye. Now, everybody has my cell phone, so if you have a legitimate question, I don't mind you calling. Um, I usually don't answer the phone. Leave a message, and I'll call you back. And you can text me. Texting is probably the best way. All right, let's go back to Charlene. Charlene in Port Charlotte, thanks for holding. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Fantastic. What can I do for you? I've been a, a bodybuilder probably for the past, I don't know, since 2007, and I'm an avid runner. Um, I'm having problems with my joints and hips, mm -hmm. and don't tell me not to run anymore because that's how I deal with my depression. <laughs> right, right. Um, I just want to know what 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 would be the best. Um, I, well, I take glucosamine, I take, um, I take fish oil, mm -hmm. I take calcium, I take vitamins every day. I'm finding, um, the, the glucosamine is not helping as much as it used to. Right. Well, all right. So Charlotte, glucosamine chondroitin is only good if you have osteoarthritis. If it's not osteoarthritis, it's totally useless. Okay. Omega-3 fish oil, on the other hand, if you're taking a triglyceride form, like Fortify Super Omega, uh, you will get some benefits from that. I recommend, believe it or not, Fortify Focus. The astaxanthin and Fortify Focus, some potent anti-inflammatory properties, two a day, all right? That's going to give you 12 milligrams mm -hmm. of astaxanthin. And then also hyaluronic acid. If you take oral hyaluronic acid, is isn't bad. And I got to tell you, now there's something else you can take that can help your joints, collagen protein, all right, you can buy that, you know, mm -hmm. at the health food store on, on uh, or you can go to Amazon. You want to get a grass-fed 
collagen protein and maybe take it two times a day. Get the unflavored mm -hmm. version. You put it in water, put it in coffee, uh, mix it up, and it's a good source of protein, but it has been shown to help gut health and help skin health, but also help joint health. So the combination of Fortify Super Omega, Fortify Focus, <clears throat> a good oral hyaluronic acid, and collagen protein can definitely help your joints. And there's other things you can do as, as, as well, but those are things you could start with. And mm -hmm. if you're going to run, I mean, you're near the beach, run barefooted on the beach, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Barefooted on the beach, uh, that'll help because the grounding, believe it or not, will actually help with a lot of your pain and the vitamin D. So run in your bikini on the beach, get the sun because the sun is a potent steroid hormone that also has yeah. anti-inflammatory properties, okay? Okay. I just have another question. I was, I do take the fish oil. I was taking it every we're, day. You're going to have to hold. We're, we're, we're out of time. Okay. All right. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and listening to Ask the Doctor. I'm Dr. Michael Lang. Have a great day, and God bless you. I'm out of here.